Friends, if you were asked in an interview that, suppose you have two equipments, first is heater of 1 kilowatt and second is motor of 1 kilowatt. Now it is asked that among these two, whose current value is higher or either current value of both is same. So today through this video, we are going to learn whose current value is higher and how to find the value of current. Okay then, let's start. So we need to find first that what is the current value of 1 kilowatt heater and what is the value of current for 1 kilowatt motor. So I am using a formula here. Formula is P equals to V into I into PF that is power equals to voltage multiplied by current into power factor. By using this formula only we will do the calculation. Now here it is asked heater of 1 kilowatt. It means power here will be 1000 watt. We can say 1 kilowatt as 1000 watt. Firstly, we are doing calculation of single phase. Later, we will do calculation of three phase also. This formula which I told you is for single phase. For three phase, formula is little different. First of all, we will discuss for single phase. So this heater of 1 kilowatt is working on single phase whose power is 1000 watt. Now we have to write voltage here. Voltage for single phase is 230 volts. Now we need to find current. Power factor of heater is 1. Why power factor here is 1? Look, heater we are using here is resistive load. It means power factor of this will always be 1. All resistive loads or we can say all pure resistive loads we use, power factor of these will be 1. So we return power factor here as 1. Now through this formula, we have to do calculation. So in this formula, put all these values. Power is 1000. Voltage is 230 volts, we have to find current and power factor here is 1. When we multiply 230 with 1, it will be 230 only. Now divide this 1000 by 230. When we divide by 230, we will get value of current. When we divide 1000 by 230, answer will be 4.34 ampere. It means heater of 1 kilowatt which is working on single phase power supply will consume 4.34 ampere current. Now we have to find current value for motor. So motor of 1 kilowatt here is also of single phase. So we are going to use same formula. P equals to V into I into PF. So according to this formula, power will be 1 kilowatt. So it will be 1000 watt. Voltage will also remain same to 30 volts. Current we have to find and power factor here. What will be the power factor? Look, motor here is an inductive load and power factor of inductive load can never be 1. It will always be less than 1. In an interview, if it is told that this is the power factor of motor, then you can do the calculation as per the value of that power factor. And if power factor is not told to you, then there you can consider power factor as 0 0.8. So we took power factor here as 0 0.8. Now as per this value only, we have to do calculation. So in this formula, I am putting all these values. 1000 equals to 230 into I into 0 0.8. When we multiply 230 with 0 0.8, then answer will come as 184. Now we have to divide 1000 by 184. When you divide, answer will be 5.43 ampere. So friends, you can see the difference here. This 1 kilowatt heater here, power factor of this is 1. This is why current value we got is 4.34 ampere. And this 1 kilowatt motor here, power factor of this is 0 0.8. So current value we got is 5.43. It means value changed due to different values of power factor. It means we can say here that motor will consume more current and current value of heater will be less. Now friends, I am asking you a small question. You have to tell the answer by commenting in comment section. Question for you is, if I run these two equipments for 1 hour, that is, for continuously 1 hour, if I keep these two running, then whose electricity bill is going to be more? Is it for heater or for motor? You have to tell this answer in the comment box. Okay, then let's move forward. So we did the calculations here for single phase. After the calculations of single phase, we saw almost 1 ampere current difference is there for 1 kilowatt. Now let us do the calculation for 3 phase. For calculation of 3 phase, you have to use this formula. Power equals to root 3 into voltage into current into power factor. You have to do calculation by using this formula. As I told you, power is 1000 watt. Voltage here is of 3 phase. Voltage will be 415 volt. After this, we need to find current. 
value of power factor will be 1 because this is heater. Now let's put all these values in this formula. So here we will write P equals to value of root 3 is 1.732, value of voltage is 415 because here is 3 phase power supply. We have to find current and power factor will be 1. When we multiply 415 with 1, then there will be no changes. Now we have to multiply 415 with 1.732. When we multiply this, answer will be 718.78. We have to divide 1000 with this value. When we divide this, answer will come as 1.39 ampere. It means if 1 kilowatt heater is working on 3 phase power supply, then current it will take will be 1.39 ampere. So this was for heater. Now let us talk about motor. For motor also, we are going to use same formula. That is, power equals to root 3 into voltage into current into power factor. So we will take same values that is, power equals to 1000 watt, voltage 415, current we have to find and power factor will be 0 0.8 because this is motor which is an inductive load and we know power factor of inductive load is always less than 1. Now we have to put all these values in this formula. So I am putting all these values. So power will be 1000 watt. Value of root 3 is 1.732, voltage 415, current we have to find and power factor will be 0 0.8. So first of all, what we will do, this 1.732 here, let's multiply this with 415. When we multiply this, answer will come as 718.78. Now multiply 718.78 with 0 0.8. When we multiply these, answer will be 575.02. Now we need to find current. So take this on this side. That is divide 1000 by 575.02. When we divide, we will get value of current. That is value of current will be 1.73 ampere. So friends, you can see the difference here. Current value of heater is less and current value of motor is comparatively high. So friends, if it is asked to you in an interview that you have 1 kilowatt heater and 1 kilowatt motor, then who will take more current? Look, you have to give a simple answer. You have to answer, motor is an inductive load and power factor of inductive load is always less than 1. This is why current value of motor will be high. Friends, we used 1 kW for calculation. It can be 2 kW, 3 kW, 4 kW or any other value. It doesn't matter. Your heater, that is resistive load, will always consume less current and current value of inductive load will be high always. Friends, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, then please do like, share and comment on this video. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.